What is up, you tech-loving gamers? We're back here today to pin two wireless gaming headsets against each other. Uh, classic old steady HyperX Cloud 2 wireless gaming headset. Uh, and then in this corner, we have the brand new Razer uh, Black Shark VT Pros that we're gonna go ahead and contend against my, my everyday headset that I've used for the past two years. Uh, there's about a $100 difference between these two products right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what I like about each of them uh, and see if I can help you make a more informed decision of which one works best for you. I'll catch you there. All right, first up, we're gonna go ahead and move into the HyperX Cloud 2s. This bad boy has been a fan favorite for years due to the fact that it is extremely durable and comfortable, as well as having exceptional sound quality for a decent price for a gaming wireless headset. Uh, one of the best features about this headset is gonna be the battery. Uh, next is gonna be the comfortability of this bad boy. It has two huge uh, ear cuffs right here, very plush, soft memory foam. Uh, completely encapsulate my ear with a hat or not. Uh, they lock in sound, so sound leak isn't as bad as the other headsets that are on the market, uh, but it definitely, definitely gets warm after a few hours. Uh, but I can tell you these 53 millimeter drivers uh, make crystal clear sound. I've never had an issue hearing footsteps in CSGO, Rainbow Six, all those fun uh, games that you need to hear that very crystal, low and high pitch audio. Uh, I can also tell you another cool feature about this headset is the detachable microphone that is noise canceling. A uh, cool feature that this microphone has on the desktop application is called Live Mic Monitoring, so you can hear what you sound like uh, to the people that you're speaking to. Uh, it is a great feature of this headset. We'll go into more features with it in the comparison against the Black Shark, uh, but we'll get into that next. All right, guys, thanks for joining me back. We're here with the Razer uh, Black Sharks again. Uh, I went ahead and skipped this into the future just so I can get a little bit of experience with these guys before I give you my opinions on them. Uh, in first impressions, they're great. That's just, if I had to describe them in a few words, I would say they're an amazing headset. If I had $200 and I was gonna spend my money on a headset, uh, from my experience, this is the best headset I have owned. Uh, between HyperX, Clouds, uh, wired, non-wired, uh, wired, non-wired, wireless, uh, the Turtle Beaches I've worn, the Corsair Voids, uh, just about everything I'm worn uh, does not compare to the comfortability of this thing. And the best way I can describe the fit of this headset, if you've ever used a Private Pilot's headset before uh, that they used to fly, it is this. Uh, the comfortability of this matches it perfectly. It slightly clamps around your head. It's not super pressure, uh, but it is It is a clamp that just lets you know that they're there. Uh, they stay tight on your ears. I don't know, it's not that they're uh, over, overbearing weight or overbearing clamp. It's just like a perfect comfortable clamp. I don't know how to describe it other than let's say it's like a weighted blanket for your head. Uh, super stupid comfortable. Highly enjoyed this headset. But I will say my favorite feature out of all of it so far was this beautiful, beautiful microphone. Best sounding microphone I have ever heard on a gaming headset, period. I'm gonna go ahead and at the end of the video give you a mic comparison between the HyperX and this headset. Uh, it has beautiful uh, microphone equalizer presets where you can have it set to boost your microphone, you can have noise canceling set through it, you can have it set up to boost the bass in your voice like a broadcaster, like a radio announcer. It's really cool. Uh, I highly enjoy playing around with the desktop application. Uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful headset, well made. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and get into the next part of the video to compare these two headsets about the pros and cons of each one. All right, thanks guys for joining me back for the rest of this video. We're gonna go ahead and get into a quick comparison between these two, try and give you a quick pros and cons list about just general items and general aspects of the headsets, which one does which better, uh, and to see if that $100 that you're gonna be spending extra on top of this Razer headset is really worth it from the HyperX. Uh, and why I spent that extra $100 to get this headset. So, uh, before I do that, if you've enjoyed this video and you're enjoying what I'm doing here, just go ahead and drop a like on this video, it's greatly appreciated. And if you wanna see more videos like this and you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll appreciate having you around. Uh, now back to the video, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the first thing about this headset. They both have surround sound. Both of them feature a surround sound system. Uh, the HyperX Cloud 2s have a 7.1 surround sound system that is virtually, it's a virtual surround sound uh, that is used through the HyperX and Ingenuity desktop application. The cool thing is, is the Razer also has surround sound, but it is a THX, the cool sound system people from the old movies you would see in the movie theater, that giant logo that would pop up, all that fun stuff, that's them. Uh, but they have the THX spatial surround sound to this headset. It is so clear with footsteps. 
and sounds that you hear on the map, it is great. I can tell you I highly enjoyed it. Um, now moving into something that the Hyper X gets a W on is going to be the battery life. This bad boy lasts anywhere from 90 to 100 hours. I've never really had it die on me before and when it does, it's just because I forgot that you have to charge. Um, it just lasts forever. I, I could literally leave it sitting on for a week straight just playing music and I guarantee you it still have 20% battery left. Uh, it is insane how long that headset lasts. That is definitely the number one feature of it. Uh, these Razors uh, advertise a 24 hour battery life. I think that's a little bit of an undershot. Uh, I played about six hours with them last night and it only lost about 6% battery. So, um, you know, it's probably an underestimate. It's better to, you know, set lower expectations than achieve, I guess is what Razor was going for there. Uh, but yeah, great battery life on both the headsets. Definitely not an issue. Uh, microphones, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said earlier, give you a review between the two of them, uh, get a recording so that you can hear what they sound like between the two microphones and make that decision for yourself which one you like more. But for me personally, the microphone on this uh, Razer is definitely gonna take home that W. Uh, it is insanely, insanely crisp and clear. Uh, as well as the microphone EQ settings you can use with it, it is a extreme W. Now for wireless connectivity, I brought both the dongles out here so that you guys can see them. Uh, this is the HyperX Cloud 2, this is the Razer. Uh, you can see how much larger the HyperX Cloud 2s are. So if you're using this headset with a laptop, or like a gaming laptop, like you're in a dorm or anything like that, I highly recommend this headset uh, just because of how much larger this dongle is. Uh, I've broken three of these dongles since I've owned these for two years um, for the HyperX Cloud 2s. Uh, they're extremely large, so it creates a huge focal point on these tiny little three uh, USB welds that go from the USB serial bus to the floor itself, uh, they break super easy. You can just accidentally touch it when you go to pull it out or anything like that and it'll snap one of the connections or fracture it uh, and then you start having connectivity issues. But uh, for range and consistency uh, with connections, you can't really beat these uh, these guys. Both of them, I can walk all around my house uh, and be able to hear everyone and everything, not have any issue with that. Uh, but I will say once again, the fragility, uh, hopefully that's a word, if the fragileness of this uh, receiver for the HyperX Cloud 2 is kind of a deficit for me, uh, which is something I didn't like too much. Uh, let's see here. The next favorite part of uh, between the two headsets uh, that I have is the forks on the Razer here. Uh, the adjustable forks, I have not had an issue with them coming down at all. They seem very tight. They don't have any micro adjustments while I'm wearing them. They stay locked with where you set them. The HyperX Cloud 2s, after wearing them for a few hours, they'll start moving a little bit on your head. Uh, they'll start adjusting, you know, as you grab your mic uh, or you hit the mute button or anything like that. It'll make micro adjustments. They don't really have such a strict or uh, rigorous uh, locking system for where the headphones sit on your ear. It's just tiny little dimples in the aluminum frame here. I can't really show you them because they're super small, but that's a... Uh, that's all that it has. They move super easy. Uh, they're not they're not very locked into any state. So you have to really uh, be conscious of, of how they move there. Uh, and then we got my little my little puppy here. Uh, she wants to join us for the video. Uh, she just wanted to say hi. Uh, and she thinks that you guys should drop a like. Uh, but that, that's just her thing, you know. She, uh, she just wants to, to, to ruin uh, all kinds of things. So uh, with that in there, we're gonna go ahead and put her back down. Uh, and stop using her for likes. Hopefully that was cute. Um, and if it wasn't, we'll just pretend it didn't happen. Uh, but with that, we're gonna go ahead and finish this comparison up uh, and try and get into a more detailed analysis of just my opinion and why I spent that extra hundred dollars on this race. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around towards the end of the video. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you my opinion between the two uh, that I pick here. Obviously, one is $100 more expensive than the other, so you know, price is what you mostly focus on, and you need something that's on the less expensive side. I would say the HyperX is definitely your best friend. Um, you're not gonna find a better headset for $100. It is just out of the park, and if, if you need something even cheaper than $100, you can get the wired version of this bad boy. I think it's only like 70 bucks, uh, and it's the exact same headset just without the wireless functionality. Um, so, but for me, between the two headsets, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that extra $100 is worth it. Uh, this bad boy is the most comfortable headset I've ever worn. Uh, by far, and more comfortable than the HyperX Cloud 2s. 
Uh, another feature that just makes this headset worth it is the microphone. It, it is the most crystal clear microphone I've ever heard on a headset. I'm sure I've said that too many times this video, but uh, I'm also gonna tell you once again, I'm gonna put the recordings, uh, compare the mics towards the end so you guys can uh, skip towards that if you just wanna hear what those sound like. Uh, but for me as well, uh, another feature that just made this headset worth it even more was the uh, USB dongle not being, you know, uh, four inches long. It's pretty great, uh, so I don't have to worry about breaking it constantly. Like I've said before, I had to buy this one three times for the HyperX Cloud 2 because they break so easily. Uh, they are not super robust. They are just not well made, uh, honestly. But like I said again, the battery life on this bad boy just knocks it out of the park. I haven't had these die on me yet, so I can't say the battery life is bad, but there is not a headset out there that is gonna last as long as these guys. Um, like I said again, neither of these headsets are bad, uh, but if I had to pick one and I had $200 uh, to spend on a headset, I am definitely going for these razors. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this video guys, and if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button and drop a subscribe for me, uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Y'all have an awesome day. This is a microphone test for the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. This is a microphone test of the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless headset. Alright guys, thanks for coming back. We're back here with the Razer uh, Black Shark Pro 2s, uh, Black Shark V2 Pros. Oh boy, f me. Okay, let's try that again.